Okay. Sorry. Am I holding this up? You're good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. What was the question? Sorry. <laughs> Can you open us up with a statement after today's 3-1 victory over Bowdoin? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank Calvin College. It's a wonderful venue to play in. Um, can't say enough about the hospitality that we've had here. Um, beautiful arena. Uh, so it's it's been an absolute pleasure to be here in, in Grand Rapids. Um, I'm just extremely proud of my kids. Uh, I thought Bowdoin did a fantastic job, and uh, my hat is off to them. They, they served really aggressive. Uh, at us in that first set and did some really good things. Uh, their setters are really good, uh, but we were fortunate enough in the regionals to play against, uh, you know, the best setter in the nation. So um, I was excited that my kids were able to weather the storm and, and battle back and start playing CLU volleyball at the end of the match. Well, you can open it up to questions. Uh, we switched to defense, um, and we, you know, we just emphasized ball control and being patient with it. Uh, so we talked about trying to get the ball to the middle a little bit more, obviously, and, and doing things that we we normally do. So uh, just kept reminding the kids to stay aggressive and play our style of volleyball. Yeah, I think um, in this kind of a situation, really any kind of experience helps us. Uh, we're pretty used to having to battle and earn every point, and I think that's kind of what we thrive off of, and that's when we're playing our best volleyball is when we're under pressure and we know that we have to work every point. Coach, uh, um, Allie had a huge day today. Uh, tell me a little bit what she means to your program and, and what you thought about her today. How much time do you have? <laughs> Uh, Allie Eason means everything in this program. She's an excellent example of what we're trying to produce at Cal Lutheran. She, uh, uh, she's a completely different woman than when she came in to our program. She is a gritty, tough, smart player uh, that everyone enjoys playing with. Everybody on this team who's ever had the privilege to play with her loves her and respects her. Um, and it's not because of what she says, it's because of what she does every single day in practice. Um, she is a complete player, uh, she's a leader, and she's a, an incredibly strong young woman of character. I couldn't be more proud of Allie. Um, we have crazy, intense practices all the time, and uh, the fact that we're always maintaining the highest level of play that we can, whether it's here in a big tournament like this or we're just practicing, we don't have a tournament for a couple of weeks or a game for a couple of days, we're always with a high intensity, and so the girls that I play, play with make me want to play better, make me want to play at a higher level, and um, it's definitely uh, made me a better player and want to continue to get better as a player. Well, yeah, I'd prefer a three-side <laughs> sweep. I mean, I'm... Yeah, you know, at every I think every first match of a regional or a tournament or, you know, the Elite Eight is going to be the toughest. You're in a new place. You've traveled across the country. You have young kids that have never experienced it before. And I think Bowdoin was amazing tonight, and they've been amazing all season. So um, it was something that we talked about the kids. You know, I'm, you know this, I'm a big John Wooden f fan, and uh, we talk a lot about uh, fearing no one but respecting everyone. Um, and we came in with a lot of respect, and the first set proved me right on that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the lights are interesting in there. The sport court's interesting. Having 55 minutes on the court uh, the day before. And, yes, I know we could have practiced for 25 minutes today, but... Um, that, that's a pretty quick turnaround for our kids in a completely different place, new time zone. 
so, but that's why we practice like we do. That's why we put them under as much pressure as we can. That's why we schedule the toughest opponents that we can for situations like this. Allie, um, what do you think about how Amanda has played this year, especially considering she's a freshman? I think Amanda's been doing such an amazing job for us. Um, just makes me happy to see someone who's playing with just so much enthusiasm all the time and she's always working her butt off and she plays with a lot of confidence and I think especially for a freshman that's a huge deal because you know you are new to the, like a very successful program and I think that's what's kind of given her the edge and been able to make her be so successful this season for us. Um, Amanda, has it been a lot of pressure on you? Yeah, it's been really hard. <laughs> um, it's, it's an intense program, but um, that's what I knew coming into it and committing to this program, and that's what I like, to be pushed and have something to work towards. And um, it's, it's been an amazing experience so far, and there's still so much of the season left, but um, it's had its ups and downs, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> well, um, I think I kind of, after um, all that happened, I just reminded myself that first and foremost, like I'm here for the girls on my team and I'm here to play for them and I'm really happy to have my all my family, like a lot of my family and sister here from Germany and like as happy as it made me, I just knew that my job is to play for the girls on the team and try to keep everything else out of my mind, so that's what I tried to do. Any other questions? Kelly, you had some, I mean, some crucial timeouts that kind of sparked runs right after. Was there anything in particular that you said during those timeouts or anything that really, because every time you had a timeout, you seemed to make that run when it, if they were starting to pull away. I don't know if I could take credit for the turnaround and anything I said wasn't magical. It's just reminding the kids of the game plan and what. Uh, we think that they're going to come at us with and making sure that they know their defensive assignments and what kind of an offense we're going to run and, and what to expect in transition. Uh, we try to keep it pretty brief. Um, obviously, the most important thing is for us to dance in the timeouts. So uh, <laughs> just try to remind them to, to keep it loose and, and to continue to play Calu volleyball. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. No. <laughs>